Hi, um, now that the Media Center has been basically complete and we've got all the software and such set up, I'm going to make one last series of videos showing all the features. Um, we're going to start with the live TV functionality, and I just wanted to show off how it works with the Logitech Harmony remote using the IR receiver on the front right there. So we're going to turn it on. And if you know, our setup is a older Sony HDTV, a Yamaha receiver, a TV tuner, um, series of Polk audio tower and center speakers, and a couple old Sony tower speakers in the back. Good enough quality for us. down a bit. As you can see we are at our recorded TV right now. Um, the TV or the media center, the TV vert part of it basically functions like a giant DVR slash live cable TV. Um, we can record up to three shows at once and one live show or record up to four shows at once and as opposed to say a TiVo or something this has six terabytes of storage. And just to show you, we will go, let's do Good Eats, just to show you how episodes look. Garlic, salt, pepper, oregano, rub sage, and it's good to go. And now, this is standard definition, as you can see. You've got all the controls, fast forward, stop, record, things like that. You can also get show info, more details, zoom captions. Um, Windows Media Center is very, very well thought out when it works pretty much. Alright, let's go to... Where's the new episode? Let's go to Masterpiece Classics, Downton Abbey. My apologies for spoilers, just wanted to show you how high def content looks. As you can tell, the sound on the system is pretty good. I'm going to turn it down a bit because some of the family are asleep. It's a bit later at night. My apologies if you can't hear me very well. As you can see, the quality is very nice. Um, if we go to the TV guide, it's basically like any other TV guide. You can view things. The info, you can set your recordings, things like that. Let's see if we go to live TV. Um, you can pause live TV, provided you have a big enough cache. Um, you know, six terabytes of storage, that's really not an issue for us. Um, you can rewind and fast forward if you've paused. You know, basic DVR features. But I've noticed it is quite a bit faster than using an older TV tuner or something like that. We have Bright House, so their cable boxes aren't the best. No offense, Bright House, but it's true. So we built our own pretty much. Another neat little feature you get is you get, you know, the descriptions and some metadata and everything like that. You can set um, categories. You can set favorites, things like that. And uh, another big thing for sports fans, the reason we didn't get rid of cable in the first place is sports. Uh, we watch a lot of sports in the family. Um, you can view what's on right now, what games you want to watch, things like that. And it does this neat little picture in picture and some news alerts, things like that. You can view it as well. Um, really nice if you have a lot of shows to watch things like that you can watch just look at scores uh, once again my apologies for spoilers you can look at 
reviews, things like that. It's really nice. Um, you can view your leagues and things like that as well. And Windows Media Center supports movies, um, music, pictures, things like that. But we basically use it just for TV because, and I'll show you in the next video, we use XBMC for everything else. And that will be coming up in just a moment, so thank you for watching, and tune in next time.